This video will show you how to create this object step-by-step -step in Autodesk Inventor 2019. First, we should take a look at our multi-view. So on the multi-view, we have our front view, our top, our right side, and isometric views. We see that our front view has the majority of the dimensions going on here. Uh, we have uh, an object that is three inches tall and three inches wide. And also on the, uh, on the front face of it here, we've got four squares, one on each corner. And each of those squares is one inch by one inch. We can see on the top view that each of these parts, the sort of backing square, this three inch by three inch square, and each of those four squares that are only one inch by one inch on the corners, uh, they're going to be one half inch each for a total thickness of one inch. So knowing that, uh, I think we should start uh, drawing right here on the front view. We'll break this into two pieces. We'll do our backing square for this half inch thick, three inch by three inch square. And then we'll come in with the second sketch and we'll add these four corner squares and finish the part. In Inventor, please click on New Part. We'll give it a couple seconds to load up. And as always, uh, to start our part, we have to start with a sketch. Right, so click Start 2D Sketch up at the top left. I said we, we want to start on the front view, right? So that front view, that's going to be this here, the XY plane. So click XY plane. We'll see we have our X axis, our Y axis, our origin here in the middle. And we can start by drawing this square, this 3x3 three three square, uh, using the rectangle tool, right? Click rectangle. We'll bring your cursor over to the origin at the center, and you'll notice that as you get close to it, it should snap with the green dot right to that 0, 0, 0 point. We'll click once and move that mouse up and to the right. And you'll see our uh, dimensions so far are following our cursor here, showing uh, the width and the height of the rectangle as we move. Because I know that I want this to be exactly 3 inches by 3 inches, we can set those dimensions right now by pressing 3 on the keyboard. That'll change the first dimension to 3 inches. I'll hit Tab. And then 3 to set the height to 3 inches. And Enter. And as soon as we do that, uh, the size of the whole rectangle should change. I have to zoom out a bit. I'm going to use the Zoom All button, the page with the magnifying glass. And now I see that I've got my 3 inch by 3 inch rectangle. We're all ready to go. We can finish this sketch. Click Finish Sketch. With the change in the view, it sort of zoomed out funny. I'm going to hit Zoom All again, page with a magnifying glass. I have my 3 inch by 3 inch square ready to be extruded. And remember, my thickness uh, on that back square has to be a half an inch. And then each of those smaller squares will be another half inch to make that one inch thickness overall, right? So please come up to the top left, click Extrude. And right now, since there's only one shape that could possibly be extruded, it auto-selected it. Uh, and it's trying to extrude it to a distance of one inch. Uh, we don't want one inch here. We want 0.5. We want a half of an inch. So I'll change that to 0.5. And click OK. All right, with that, the first main chunk of this part is done. We have that backing square finished. And now we're going to start on these four little corner squares. In order to start the squares, we should draw the sketch right on the front of this sort of 3x3 three three square. And then at each corner, we'll draw in a rectangle We'll make sure that they're the right size, one inch by one inch, and we'll extrude them out all together because all four of them are going the same distance. They'll all four have to go one half inch. So back into Inventor here, we're going to start a new 2D sketch. 
going to click on the front face of our 3 inch by 3 inch square here. And then we're going to use our rectangle tool, so click rectangle, to set up our first corner square. I think the easiest way to do this is if we hover over these lines at the corner, uh, you should see as you get to the corner here with your cursor, uh, the green dot should show up when you're directly on the corner, when it's snapping right to the intersection uh, at the corner of the part. We'll click once on the corner, start bringing our mouse in towards the center of the part, and we'll just type in using the keyboard one, tab, one and enter to make our first one inch by one inch square. We'll follow this around on all three of the remaining corners. We'll hover over that top right corner until I see the green dot. I'll click once, start bringing my cursor in towards the center. Type one, tab one, enter. In the bottom right, hover over, find that green dot, click, bring it up towards the center, one, tab, one, enter. And on the last corner, again, green dot, click, move towards the center, one, tab, one, enter. All right, with that, we have four squares, one inch by one inch on each of the corners. We should be totally ready to go at this point to finish our sketch and extrude to finish the part. The top right, finish sketch. The top left, we'll click extrude. Right now, you'll notice with extrude click, nothing is highlighting, nothing's previewing here because there's more than one uh, shape here that could be extruded. So for this, it doesn't know what we want to extrude, we have to click. So I'm going to click on all four of these, one at a time here, one, two, three, four. And with each click here, uh, right now the distance is set to 0.5, that's perfect. We want to extrude it to that uh, one half inch, right, 0.5 inches. So that's good. We have all four squares. Click OK. And there you have the finished part two. I'm going to click the uh, home, the little house icon up here to get to the home view quick. And maybe take a second, click on our little drop down, and apply a nice color or texture to your finished model. And you are all done with part two. Uh, don't forget to save. We're clicking on File, Save, and then I would save this to your documents, probably call it Part 2. And in order to turn it in, we're going to grab a snipping tool screenshot, right? Take this picture at the home view, and we'll turn that in on Google Classroom. All right, good work. We'll see you on the next one.